Yeah, I think so. Uh, I think that was like Spencer's original intent to begin with. Um, but we all kind of caught up like along the ride. Um, it kind of has like little bits of who we've always been into over the years, like musical influences. And uh, it really does have that like kind of summed up feeling. I don't know, it kind of encompasses every little area that we wanted to be ever since we started the band and, and all the stuff that we've learned along the way. So yeah, it ended up being really comprehensive. And uh, I think it's like an even match of like Spencer preparing it that way to begin with and uh, you know, just fate kind of drawing everything together. I feel like the DIY approach to our music that we had when we were kids uh, is almost like reinforced nowadays. Um, working with a label like Relapse is pretty interesting because um, they're they're there to like help you do all kinds of things. But uh, I think my perspective has just shifted over the last couple years and I, I think it's more important than ever to kind of be intimately involved in all the details of your band. And uh, I, don't, I don't even really know how to explain it, but working with a label like Relapse has made me want to be more involved on every little detail. And in that sense, uh, I feel like the DIY spirit still really fostered in our group. And it, it's encouraged us to just take, take a deep hand in everything that we do. Uh, it's kind of cool because it hasn't really changed that much. Uh, I still feel like it's the same as it was 10 years ago. Uh, Spencer coming up with a lot of the riffs and jamming with Dave. The things that have changed have come maybe through like collaboration with the body. We learned so much working with Chip and Lee because those guys are so into improvisation and just kind of coming up with stuff in the moment and like the magic of, you know, watching a song come to life rather than being so intentional about what kind of song you're trying to write. So there are songs on the last couple records that we never would have written had we not worked with the body. Um, like Angels Gather Here, obviously, is a song that we didn't we didn't really know how it was going to sound aside from the beat that we got from Wife. And uh, you know, built, we built it in the studio and it became this thing that none of us really anticipated it being. So you know, that's the greatest tool set that we got was from people like The Body and Masami Akita showing us uh, how important improvisation is. You know, I don't really know what Spencer was listening to. I think he was listening to a lot more Harvey Milk than maybe ever before, but I don't know how much of a, like a stamp that had on the music. Um, and I was just listening to a lot of hip hop and I don't know if that had a lot of effect on the record itself. Maybe like lyrical flow and, and like comfort in, in, in wordplay. But uh, you know, overall, uh, I don't think there's like a push for us to sound a certain way. Like trumpeting ecstasy had, had a harder death metal feel because after doing all these like noise-based records, we wanted to do something so straightforward and just kind of ignorant and riffy. And Weeping Choir, you know, was just that baby step back into like all the punk zones that we'd all always occupied and, and et cetera, et cetera, like whatever, you know. Um, with Weeping Choir, I, the only thing I can specifically remember that we asked to be a little different around this time, um, we requested that the production maybe be a little bit more raw, but I don't, I don't really know uh, if, if the record turned out any rawer than the last one. I haven't listened to it that many times, to be, to be perfectly honest. Uh, I think like just how the record was put together, it, it's, a, it's a bit more extreme. And, and, and therefore maybe a little more raw in general. But the cool thing with Kurt is that it doesn't really need to be said specifically. I think he understands what our band is about, even if maybe we can't articulate in words what our band is about. He just kind of is like a good conduit for us. And, uh, and, and in that way, we don't really need to say a whole lot about what we're going for, it just kind of happens. You know, I, I, every, every time we write a record, Spencer has a little bit of writer's block. And I don't really take it that seriously nowadays because every time he kind of comes to me really concerned and anxious that he's having writer's block, he comes to me a couple hours later with like four songs written. So I think that's just like part of his process and it's very natural for him. I didn't feel too stressed about this record. I think the biggest challenge I guess would have been putting out a record after Trumpeting Ecstasy because we all felt like Trumpeting Ecstasy was this cool new level for the band. I felt like everybody was so positive about the record 
And I think that's like a natural thing that all bands feel when they put out a record that people like receive in a really positive way. It's like, how can we follow up something? What if we come up with something that's just simply not as good as the last thing? And we're all about progressing forward. So that was really stressful. But other than that, it felt so natural to me making the record. And I really felt like everybody was in their zone. It was just kind of exciting, which is new to have that kind of confidence. It was, it was pretty cool. I'm excited to make more. That's yeah. what it felt like. <laughs> Yeah, it's like totally changed who we are as musicians. Um, collaborating changed everything about how we approach making records. And we, we never even intentionally thought we were going to make those kinds of records. It just kind of kept falling into our laps. First with Mersbau, which was like such a gift and such a challenge. And then with the body, just because we were playing shows and getting along, Lee and Chip suggested making the collaborations. And those guys, I don't know, every time you make make a record with another band like that and you're forced into a situation like that, I feel like, at least with us, we take a little bit of that band with us, a little bit of their DNA. And uh, I mean, with The Body, because we made two records with them, they've had such an influence on us as musicians. It really can't be stated enough. And I know with future collaborations, I'm sure who we are is going to change again and again. So uh, yeah, absolutely, it's, it, collaborating is a good thing. Intensive Care is a great one, actually. Uh, you know, um, they're a really challenging band, and, and they, they're from like a long lineage of bands that were really influential to us. And our, our motives for doing splits uh, is generally just um, to make something that we feel is, is really contrasting from A to B side, or to do something with our friends. Um, and uh, I don't know, I'm kind of drawing a blank on the underground bands thing, but Intensive Care is a really good one, and uh, Disciples of Christ, is a really good grindcore band from Washington, D.C., and I think they're hopefully going to write another record. Um, Unyielding Love is a really good band from Ireland. Uh, kind of indescribable, caustic, noisy, black and death metal kind of punk sound. On paper, kind of sounds like it would be similar to us, but totally has its own vibe. Knifed Out of Existence from England. It's like a power electronics project. I mean, the list goes on. Maybe Kristen didn't want to spoil the surprise, but we're absolutely working on a band. It's, it's her and Lee and I, from, at Leaf and the Body. And it, we've been working on the record for a couple years, but it's, it's pretty much done now. Uh, as far as I know, Kristen was supposed to record a couple more little tracks, but I think they're done. So maybe next year we'll get to announce that band. That would be really cool. But I can't, I can't now. Just a lot more touring, and, and we have a couple collaborations that are in the works um, with bands we really, really like. Um, I feel like we have so many plans that we're kind of set for a few years, but it's, it's just like more of the same. I don't think there's anything surprising coming that you wouldn't already expect.